All right, big day in the news, lots to get through. Uh, let's get into it. In an interview with Lou Dobbs yesterday on Fox Business, Donald Trump claimed he, quote, started this whole fake news thing. <laughs> and I, I think I speak for everyone when I say, yep. <laughs> yep, you did. Uh, when talking about how the news portrays him, Trump said this, take a look. I'll say to my wife, oh, tonight I'm going to enjoy watching television, because I did great. And wait till you see this. And then they put it on, and it's like, oh, that's not so good. They are fake news. Then his wife, Melania, said, that's not you, it's Tom Selleck. We're watching Blue Bloods. <laughs> uh, during Trump's rant about the media, he said, what could be more fake than CBS and NBC and ABC and CNN? I mean, yeah, what could be more fake? I mean, what could be more <laughs> fake? I mean, just off the top of my head... <laughs> Donald Trump's approval rating, his inauguration size, his concern for Puerto Rico, his concern for immigrants, his concern for hurricane victims, his golf handicap, his high IQ, his hair, his hair, his claim that no-one respects women more than him, Fox News. Um, moving on. <laughs> this morning, Donald Trump tweeted his, uh, his support for a, a Republican candidate for governor. He wrote, Ed Gillespie will turn the really bad Virginia economy numbers around and fast, strong on crime. He might even save our great statues slash heritage. There he is, talking about these Confederate statues. Again, Trump loves these statues. In fact, Trump loves rigid monuments to outdated ideas so much, he made one his vice president. <laughs> In other news, we thought this was interesting. According to a new survey, 51% of Democrats say they have a favorable view of former President George W. Bush. <laughs> yeah. Democrats say the quality they like most about Bush is that he's not on Twitter. <laughs> Meanwhile, in another poll, uh, for the first time, a majority of Republicans say they support the legalization of marijuana. <laughs> but what's going on here? I don't understand. I'm so confused. Like, Democrats like Bush, Republicans liking Kush, and we're like. 51%. Yeah, man. 51% of Republicans are in favour of legalisation, although that 51% still insists on calling it wacky tobacco. <laughs> oh, wacky tobacco. <laughs> that percentage is up nine points since last year. I mean, yeah, I wonder, I wonder what could have happened in the past year that could have made more people want to get super high. <laughs> and finally tonight... I had to mention this, Amazon, I don't know if you saw this, Amazon is introducing a new service called Amazon Key, which will allow delivery men to open your front door and put packages directly inside your house. <laughs> I don't have a joke here. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you how you're going to be murdered. Sleep tight, <laughs> folks. Good night. Bye -bye.